excuse me for my lighting it's you know dark out getting a little dark um but i'm here with a surprise um second part to my september book haul i got one two three four five more books um so i just wanted to just i wasn't expecting to get five more books um but we went to savers again and i seen some books i like so i picked them up um the first one is if i stay by Gail Foreman. Um, this, from what I gather, might be a girl who it said, what would you do if you had to choose? I think she has to choose between if she wants to live or if she wants to die and suicide and she contemplates her life. So it sounds pretty good. Um, so I'll let you know that. And then I never read an Anne Rice book before. I know she writes the vampire, um, Interview with the Vampire. But I saw this book there, and it's fairly new-ish. I'm not really sure. I think it might be old. Um, but it was originally $15, and I seen it at Sayers, and I got it for like $2, I think. And it's Anne Rice, The Claiming of Sleeping Beauty. And what really threw me to this is it says, If you like Fifty Shades of Grey, you'll love the Sleeping Beauty trilogy. Um, and I want to get into more young, not young adults, uh, adult, um, would you... Sorry, what would you classify this? Young fiction? Adult fiction? I don't know. Adult romance? I don't know. But um, it's like they're very sexually attracted to each other. And he, instead of kissing her, you know, to wake her up. And she becomes like his en enslavement to him. And a world of seduction, desire, and love. So it sounded really good. Then I got... I'll save these two for last. Um, James Patterson, the first to first to die. Mom loves James Patterson. I actually returned my small one I had and got a bigger one because I like reading the bigger ones. I hate the mass-produced books. I'm trying to get my light here. Um, and I saw these two books, and I literally screamed because Proust Project has raved about this book, so that, that it's supposed to be an adult, multi, an adult Harry Potter, um, and that's Lev Grossman's The Magician hardback for i think i paid three dollars for this so i was so excited it's dubbed the the adult version of harry potter because there's drinking and other stuff but it sounds really good so i got that then my last one i got there um i actually got for two dollars because there was no price tag on it like you know how they say like a u.s master but this had no price tag on it so i don't know if it was supposed to be sold or if it was just like a sample of the book or an arc i don't know um but the girl gave it to me for a dollar 99 and that's jillian's flynn gone girl this book has just come out and it's been retailing for 25 to 27 dollars and i got it for two dollars perfect condition so i picked that up because everybody has been raving about it and I've seen a lot of people with Jillian Flynn books because she does sharp object and dark places. Um, I want to get sharp objects, but they said it's, it's a really, really good book. So I got that. And then another one, not really a haul because I've already had this book, but I still need to give praise to the author because I love the way she writes. And it's not just because I got a free book from her because honestly, if I didn't like it, I would tell you guys. Um, but oh my god, I'm in love with this series. There's like two more books. Um, I'm getting the second one tomorrow. Hopefully she's going to bring it by and I get to actually meet her, which I'm so excited um, and so happy to meet her because I just love the way she writes. She's so genuine, such a nice, genuine person. Um, and when you when you read the book, you feel like you're actually involved in the book. You feel like you're the character. Like I feel I'm Thea because she's chubby, I'm chubby. We both have, you know, not really good self-esteem. You know, we're not confident about ourselves, but I swear, like, Thea is my, of what I would be <laughs> in a book. Um, and that is A Witch, A New Beginning by L.S. L. S. Gannon. Can't say that for some reason. Um, I am a 150 pages, and I'm hoping to finish this tonight because, oh, I need to know what goes on with Thea and James and... There will be a review up, believe me, because this book is phenomenal. And how I actually got in, got in contact with the author. 
was because my phone jack had broken and I, I wholeheartedly believe that everything happens for a reason and my phone jack broke so I called Verizon they sent out a technician the technician was such a sweet guy asked if me and my fiance like to read we said of course we do so he's like oh we should check out this new author you know she's in the area she lives exactly where I live um, and he's like, she's a really good author. So he gave me the card. I checked it out. My fiance called and talked to her. She's a very, very sweet lady. Um, so then I text her. And I'm like, well, I do reviews of books on YouTube and halls. And I would love to get your name out there if your book is a good book. You know, she's like, oh, I would, I would love to, you know, give you a signed copy and everything. So her assistant came, Melanie, and sh they are both such sweethearts. I've yet to meet the author, but her assistant is such a doll and so sweet. And I mean, like, she actually signed it, which I've never had a signed copy before in my life of a book. So that is just so exciting. And, you know, it was worth the $91 of getting my phone jack broken, having them fix it, to get a book and to meet, to just, just be... In the presence and under and read and this author's work, I love it. I am I've never raved enough about a book as I ha as I am with this one. I could go on for hours and hours talking to you of how good this book is. It's twists and turns. You never know what to expect. It's always guessing, guessing, guessing. You never know. And when you find out, you're like, what? Like, my mouth has dropped like two or three times me reading this book. And I'm one that this book, a book has to captivate me as soon as I read it. Because guess what? I don't know if I have ADD or not, but if a book does not keep my attention, I put it on the shelf. Like, as you know, I have tons of books on my shelf that I have yet to completely finish reading. And this one has just enveloped me. I love the characters. I love the story. I feel like I'm one of the characters. I just cannot rave enough about this book and I want her to be a multi-national award-winning best-selling book and author because she deserves it. She, I have not even met her yet, but I just know she's a genuine nice person just from the emails that we've been emailing on Facebook to each other and just the book itself. I mean, I am in the presence of, I think, I think the next Harry Potter. <laughs> and that's hard to say because a lot of people say, oh, I'm the next Harry Potter. No, this, I never liked reading about witches and stuff, but this book made me want to read about a lot of witches. And I have like an Amazon order of a couple witch books because I'm like, oh, so crazy for it. And I'm actually going to give one of these away once I hit 150 subscribers. Um, I will actually get a copy and give it, send it to one of my subscribers because you guys mean a lot to me and I want to get this author out there because it's an awesome, awesome book. I don't know how much I can tell you guys. I don't want to sit there and say I'm jamming it down your throat, but you will never put this book down. I've been up since two o'clock in the morning sometimes reading it and I'm like falling asleep, but I still want to know what happens. So I can't go to bed because I want to know what happens. Um, but that is my haul and a slash like slight review I'm oh, I will do a 15 minute review on this book because I love it <laughs> um it's on Amazon if you want to pick it up um just type in a witch a new beginning and they all pop up and she does have it on the ebooks too so you can do it that way too I just like physical books myself more um but just check her out and you will not be sorry that you did because I know I've been sorry sometimes that I buy books and I'm like, ugh, I don't like this. But you will not be sorry, I'm telling you. Tell your friends, your family, you need to support this author. She is phenomenal. And I just can't wait to finish this book to find out what's going to happen next. I'm so happy and excited all at the same time. But that's my second part of my September haul. I hope you like it. Sorry about the lighting it's not that great sorry um but hopefully you can see me a lot better with the camera um and like i always say keep calm and read on all right guys bye